you know, this album was interesting to me. First time listening to it, uh, actually one of the major projects, I understand he, uh, it was a young artist, he dropped a 17. That was a new, one of his newest album uh, before uh, the Question Mark album. And I'm a huge fan of hip hop, rap, I love it. Got the new iPhone 7, so I downloaded from Apple Music. And so going forward, especially in 2017, Actually, 2015, I've just been open-minded to many of things, man. That's one of the successful principles that Napoleon Hill actually encouraged in one of his book. You know, open minds to all things, all subjects, and all people. Encouragement of success. But, you know, moving on. After listening to this album, it was it was weird. But then again, it, it, it was sort of subliminal to little things that kind of goes on. And the average teenage mind and a young adult. And I enjoyed it. I enjoy um most of the songs. If I can score, I give it like a maybe a six or a seven out of ten. But this is a young man, you know, he worked hard on this album. And I believe he, you know, he had like some good bangers, man, like Infinity Eight 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 with Joey Badass. Um course like the first first scene or the first uh intro we talking about i would love to have all diseases in the world i, mean, I know they were pretty much trolling but once that beat drop and he started rapping like crazy it, it was starting making sense then i like the one song like changes and uh hope you know he's dedicating to um i guess the uh, young people that uh perished you know lost their lives during the parking lot shooting and it was a little it was just good instrumentals and jazzy. Like me, I love jazz. I like a little bit of jazz, funk, and piano. Like a lot of artists, man, if you can use that piano and then you can kind of rap on the piano beat and with a trumpet sound, it's amazing, man. And then, you know, articulate that with the snare, it's great. So, XXTension, I believe, uh, if I did some more research, he was pretty much, he blew up from what well, I want to say the freshman magazine so I uh, wanted the news newest rappers out here so I mean shit man this is uh it was it was a solid project I kind of want to do my review on this I usually don't do music reviews but you know I've just been you know just bumping this man for for a minute man it's, you know bumping this studying bumping this in you know in the car um done and working out a little bit so I mean just be open-minded man and my thing is too like you know all the generation too you guys had like you know, the music and stuff like that. That was kind of like, you know, Tuvok was talking about, you know, gangs and all that good stuff, man. But, you know, I mean, this is, I think this is a new era of the hip hop. You know, I mean, a lot of these young artists, of course, a lot of them, you know, they don't know, they don't have too much, you know, talk about. But my thing is, I don't look for validation or I don't look for a rapper or entertainer to educate me or stimulate my mind. You know, that's the only thing I know people say, oh, hip hop is dead. Hip hop ain't shit. Hip hop would never get anywhere. It's not like it was in the 90s when y'all had Ray Kwan and you know, the Wu-Tang Clan coming out too far. Biggie, you know, the Ray for Diet album, Company Flow, uh, Fruit Drugsters. I mean, she was Slum Village, you know, Tali Khalid. I think him in the 2000s. And, you know, Immortal Technique. And all those type of rappers, man, and groups. And they were actually solid. I actually got some of the uh, albums on there. You know, the KRS-One. I mean, I love them. They're dope. But I actually, too, man, you know, the entertainment industry. Hip-hop is, is part of our DNA, man. That's African-Americans. And I just really, you know, never really look up to artists like that. I mean, I just value as entertainment. And I feel like this was an entertaining pop album right here. But... You know, this is my personal opinion, you know, and, you know, like these young rappers to get money doing what they supposed to do, like Lil Yachty, he dropped out Lil Boat too. I mean, you know, I mean, hip hop is not dead, but, you know, you got some people that lack substance, but, you know, like you got the Joy Badass, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Drake, but all of a sudden we shouldn't look for rappers to educate us. That's not the thing you do within yourself. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, you can't be a sheep. You 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 control your own destiny, you know. They just their main their main thing is to pretty much entertain you. That's all that is. So you know, and that, don't get me wrong. I do believe like music has a huge power, influence, all that stuff. But you know, it's just a culture thing. Like 
you know, I was growing up, like I said, we used to watch, I used to, you know, play um, Grand Theft Auto, but it doesn't really give me incentive to go out and carjack people, kill people, you know, run away from the cops just for fun. Like, come on now, you know, I have some structure. So you got to separate rap from uh, reality. That's all that is. But I'm not going to draw this too long. Just want to give my little review on this. But Excess Tension, question mark. It, it's, it's a weird but good solid album for the most part, you know. Uh, it's really interesting. But it's your boy Young Lee Jr. You guys continue to like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. I'm out. Deuces.